Well, hey, welcome everybody to another episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm excited. We've had a couple of weeks break. Uh, things happening. When I say break, things have broken. <laughs> We've had a couple <laughs> of things on. It's just the way. But um, hey, I'm glad to be back. And uh, so my name's Ken Close, everybody. Those of you who don't know me, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, I am a Healy World member in the USA, engineer and lover of this technology. This is my friend. <laughs> I'm, I'm joined by some awesome co-hosts tonight. I got Jake Barron, head of operations uh, in Orlando. Hey, Jake, how are you? Hey, Ken. Good to be here after a uh... It's been a while since we've had this on a Tuesday, right? We had we had a tech tip Wednesday a few weeks ago, and then we had a hurricane come through last week. So, uh, yeah, but we're we're back in the regular Tuesday evening time slot. So back prime in our, time. <laughs> back in our prime time Tuesday slot. Yay! Woohoo! Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're safe, Jake. Thanks for being here with us. Uh, and we have Henry. Henry from our famous onboarding project. And, uh, yes. and by the way, we got some new stuff coming up with the uh, analysis, mm -hmm. right, Henry? So mm -hmm. welcome, Henry. Thanks for being here tonight. Thank you so much, Ken. Good evening, everybody. And yes, just like as Ken said, we definitely have the new onboarding on the Heal Advisor Analyze 2 app. We take we we go over a lot of very interesting topics there, information field, quantum entanglement, the physical noise generators, interconnectedness, very interesting stuff. So you're more than welcome to join. More than welcome. I would love to have you there. That's that's my kind of space right there. Techie at its best. <laughs> right on. Well, I'm glad you're here, Henry, with us tonight. So by the way, folks, so he's going to be in the background also helping out um, with any of the techie questions and such. So bring your stuff to the table and mm -hmm. let's get it solved. So let me tell you how it works. You guys that are new, uh, this is a, a chat-based forum. So you put your questions in the chat, and we will do our best to bring them online here and unpack them, um, and and we'll, we'll solve the mysteries, right? And we pretty much talk about almost, I mean, almost everything. What we can't do is we can't treat, diagnose, or recommend any programs or anything medically. Um, that's not us. We're the techie guys. We're not the medical guys. But we can certainly point you in the right direction and maybe get some guidance. So um, if that all makes sense to everybody, hey, light up the chat box and let's get this party started. You guys ready? Let's go. Ready, ready. <laughs> let's go. Here we go. <laughs> so Lindley's already saying, hey, great to see you, Jake and Henry. Yeah, you're Thank safe. you, Lindley. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, yes. Thank you. It's always great to see, you know, everybody's safe, right? Um, yeah. And by the way, you guys, if you don't, put any questions in here that's okay we'll come up with some stuff to talk about we always yeah. do yeah we do. well um, why don't i mean while we're we're waiting for those questions to start rolling in here why don't we talk about what's happening next thursday so as henry mentioned you know about the the onboarding program um that he runs here at healy world uh you know we have had the regular Healy uh, onboarding session, which is mainly unboxing your device and connecting it to the Healy 2 app. We have that available in English and in Spanish. And then we just recently, earlier this month, started the Analyze app onboarding session, mm -hmm. which is really cool. So the Analyze 2 app, uh, Henry goes through all the different uh, areas, anything from the resonance scan to aura to coaching. Uh, gives great tips um, um, how to use those as well. And, you know, when we were thinking of these are smaller sessions, you know, usually usually like a couple people per session, five to 10 at the most. Uh, and we said, well, look, we we want the value of this Healy onboarding program is, is huge to be able to have this when you first start uh, to have this personalized onboarding experience, which wasn't available uh, until a couple months ago. And we want to really spread the word. So we're going to dedicate our next Healy for Beginners and Beyond, which is next Thursday, October 24th, 3 p.m. Eastern time. We'll put the link into the chat here uh, for how to register for that. But we are going, Henry's going to do his new Analyze app uh, onboarding, basically dream that our, our normal Healy for Beginners and Beyond. And Ken and I will both be there as well. Maybe we can add a little bit along the way too, but we really want to get everyone 
um, used to using the Healy onboarding program, recommending people to participate in the onboarding programs as well, because every day, every day during the week, there's some sort of onboarding session going on and they're, they're great. Henry, Henry's done an, uh, an amazing job with that. So we're going to, we're going to give you a peek, you know, this will be a much bigger call, you know, usually on these Healy for Business Beyond, we usually have, you know, over a hundred people rather than, you know, a couple people at a time on those more personalized sessions, but uh, we'll all be there to help out and try to answer any questions along the way as well. So we're, we're really looking forward to that. And actually, uh, let me share my screen for just a second here because we, this invite is hot off the presses. We got the, uh, it was just sent over about an hour ago. Uh, so we see here the three of us will be on this call again next Thursday. If you scan this QR code, uh, it takes you right to the link or to the page to register for um, this call here. And then also if you just go to healyfbb.com, that will also take you to the registration page as well. So yeah, we're it's going to be a lot of fun, uh, focused entirely on the Analyze 2 app. So if you're curious, any questions, haven't experienced one of these onboarding sessions yet, definitely join us and invite um, as many people on your your team as possible because you know the Analyze 2 app for sure, we definitely have a lot more questions regarding that uh, because it, it is so, there's so many uh, modules and programs and databases and features and that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, definitely please uh, join us and help spread the word. And we're looking forward to seeing everyone on that call next Thursday. That's right. Thank you so much Jake, for, for sharing that. I just want to also mention uh, everyone that I did share the link for to book your call right there in the chat. So if you want to use that one, you can. And I also got a question from Lindley. She was asking me, where can she find the, the replays? And we don't really record the replays because like the we don't record the onboarding sessions because they're they tend to be pretty personalized. People can ask us usually as many questions as they want. So that's why we don't record them because sometimes it can get a little lengthy when it comes to the questions. Uh, and ultimately we do want everybody not to watch just a replay. We want people to actually come so that they can actually take full advantage of the experience and actually ask questions and follow along as I explain everything. Yep. Good point. Yeah. Join, join us live. You know, there's, there's right now the analyze two app, there's two sessions per week. Um, so lots of opportunities to join um, as well. I think the next one, next available one, I believe is next week, but yeah, we definitely mm -hmm. join live and then join us also next Thursday or just join us next Thursday. And <laughs> there, there you go. You'll get a very good sense of what's going on. Don't be yeah. shy. Don't be shy. Yeah. I mean, Sometimes it's a little bit, maybe, you know, if you're you're not quite that um, outgoing, right? Maybe a little bit uh, re reserved. Um, mm -hmm. You might be a little shy, but you know what? Like Jake said, it's an intimate little party, right? Mm -hmm. It's yep. just, this is why it's not recorded. This is a very mm -hmm. important reason why it's not recorded. So there's some privacy you're protected, right? You're taken care of by Henry. So no, don't I, be and, and Absolutely can. And I, I literally have people who just, they don't turn on the camera or anything at all. They just ask me questions in the chat and we interact like that. They ask me questions, I answer the question. They ask the question in the chat, I answer. Similar to what we do here, you know, like, and that's perfectly fine too. Yep, a hundred percent. I love it. And 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 the we do have a question in the chat that I've been getting questions around a lot lately. It's like, because there's a question here um, about, I have a question. When I do the analysis, I see energy cycle program and I don't have that one. Um, I, I bought the professional vision a version and it's it's lacking it. So, you know, what hasn't we, we we talked about this on What's Up Wednesday. We've talked about it on Fre Frequencies and Friends. The Obsidian edition, by the way, folks, is a new edition with a new whole database, a whole program mm -hmm. page, right, called the Energy Cycle. Now, th every program that Healy has is within the analysis opportunity. So it can pull these things up, these resources, even though you don't actually have them in your program groups because you have, say, the professional or um, the holistic or whatever edition you have. Um, but the, uh, the, the analysis is still going to pull up these databases that you can do an analysis from. So that's where the energy cycle lives, by the way. It is an Obsidian exclusive program page. Um, very cool page, by the way. 
Uh, so you can, if it comes up on your analysis, that's okay. You can still vibrate those frequencies into your field, right? And still get the benefits of those. But something within your being needed some of the frequencies that's on that group, okay? So that's why you got it. And uh, that's where it lives. And that's why you don't see it on a professional. <laughs> so hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> yeah, you know? I think that's a super, super common question. Just like there is essentially, other than the Obsidian Edition, there's one uh, database configuration for the Analyze app. When you're, when you're talking about the Resonance module, that's why even if you don't have, say, SoulCycle uh, module, you can, you can still do an analysis for the soul cycle programs. Um, it's a little bit different though with the obsidian because for the, all the other ones, you can, those results might come up in your all Healy programs group, but then you can also do a deeper dive just of that database. But with the obsidian, our, you know, our most exclusive edition, you can get those results in your all Healy programs, which, which is great. You kind of get a little uh, taste of it <laughs> if it happens to come up and you can, as Ken mentioned, you can vibrate them, but you, you only if you actually have an obsidian edition can you do uh, an analysis specifically on the energy cycle programs and then of course go run those programs also in the Healy 2 app. So yeah, I actually, you know, some people have gotten the results. I haven't gotten a resonance analysis yet. <laughs> um, um, with that, if I'm not using, I mean, I'm, I have my obsidian on right now, but if I'm just using my regular Healy, it hasn't come up for me, but yeah, as Ken mentioned, just you're getting a little bit of the benefits of the energy cycle if those happen to come up. In that group, there's another 12 programs, right? Individual programs, yeah. different um, purposes. Uh, so if it comes up on your analysis, uh, you can uh, just vibrate that group. And as Jake said, you're not going to be able to break down that group into exactly which three program or five programs you need. But uh, if you vibrate that into your field, like as yes, is in any of the database, um, it's if you don't break it down any further, it's still going to pick the specific frequencies in each one of those individual programs that you need. Okay, so even though you didn't do a full on analysis, it's still going to pull the content within that page for you. Um, so uh, go ahead and do the vibration mode. Um, and remember, when you're putting a lot of content into your field, it's better to do more increments of smaller amounts of time, right? And uh, let your body acclimate than it is to do large periods of time, uh, fewer fewer sessions. So small increments of time, more often. That's a better way. And let your body absorb this. All right. Hey, Ken, well, one more thing on the energy cycle topic. For those of you looking for more information, there's some great resources on the actually the Healy shop page. There's an Obsidian page there, but also if you missed it uh, last on, well, this month's uh, Frequencies and Friends, uh, if you go to our U Healy World America's YouTube channel, which is HealyAmericas.com, just go to our page. You'll see here, we actually just hit 6,000 subscribers. So thank you everyone for, <laughs> for supporting our page here. Uh, but you'll see here for the most recent videos, You'll see one on the right here. It's uh, Frequencies and Friends Energy Cycle Program Group with Kai Schulmeyer, who was our product marketing specialist. And he did a kind of a short training just on energy cycle. So if you were to click on this, and then let's go down to, you see what I did there? Um, let me, actually, sorry, let me minimize this again. There's a lot of information there. When you first come to this, recording, you'll see uh, a short description and you have a more option. If you expand that out, you'll see all the different segments from Frequencies and Friends and they have a timestamp next to them. So if you wanted to see, okay, let's go to uh, the energy cycle with Kai Schulmeyer, you just click on that and boom, look at that. Took you right to Kai's segment there. So if you didn't have to you know, sort through the whole call if you didn't know when that took place. And you'll see that the chapters are also down here as well. So you can access it through this part also. But it's super easy to do uh, to go back and review it. And then if you 
were to right click on this and do a copy link address, you can also send that to people as well. Oof. Isn't that great? I mean, these resources are going to be amazing. And by the way, the uh, Healy for Beginners and Beyond uh, with with Henry and all that content around that onboarding with the Healy, the, the Healy Advisor Analyze 2 it's going to be recorded also <laughs> um, and placed on that uh, on that channel. So you guys will be able to check it out. So uh, even though, like like Henry says, you know, they're not recording those individual sessions, but this bigger full on session will be and it'll be great information. I know um, that you guys will love forever. <laughs> um, so moving forward, I love this question that Amy had about the Magili life and Henry's already put some information in there, the battery ex life. And so there is, um, you know, when we're dealing with wireless technology, rechargeable systems, um, there are some variables, right, that come along. The battery itself is pretty, um, is pretty uniform, but depending on how we're charging it, how we're then depleting it um, is very important. And, and the mag Healy has the ability, of course, just like the Healy to adjust intensity, right? And if we max it out all the time, right? Max intensity. Remember, some of the programs are actually running two uh, uh, frequency generators at the same time, right? If you're running the making programs, you're depleting the battery even faster. And we know that the mag Healy also has a bunch of lights, right? really cool um, other settings that you can have that. So these things that you're running extra, I'm not extra, it's not really extra, but it's when you're running everything, you're going to be taking battery, uh, depleting batteries much faster. So just know that that is something you'll get used to. Um, and as you use it more, you'll get an idea, a sense of how to set it. Um, and as Henry said in the chat there, there, is, there are resources as to what to set the intensity levels on for all the different programs, okay? Uh, that does make a difference. That That's a good good point, Ken, because if you if you haven't gone through the Mac Healy product or the app manual where it has those recommendations, you know, a lot of times by default, people just crank things up to 100% uh, when it's it's really not necessary at all. Some of the, the programs, especially in the, the classic uh, programs are as low as 10% uh, recommended recommended intensity. So, you know, yeah, if you're if you feel okay and you're you know it's, it's okay for you, you can increase the intensity above the recommended range. If it's if it's something that you're used to, you know, definitely don't start. <laughs> the recommended range is there for for a reason. It's a great starting point um, for everybody. Just know that there is those recommendations within the app manual itself, and you can. You can access that manual from Healy Academy, from the download section of back office, and also within the app itself. And you can pull up the, the manual and the, the information section. 100%. Um, and, and so let's, let's kind of unpack that just a minute. Why would there be recommendations for intensity? Any ideas, anybody? <laughs> um, think about this. Um, if you've ever taken any kind of uh, headache medicine, a Tylenol, a, a ibuprofen, whatever. Are there instructions as to dosage? There is, right? Why? Why not just let you just gobble them down? <laughs> I mean, um, th there's a reason for that. We, we understand it very well when it comes to chemistry, right? Pharmaceuticals, or even we understand it when it comes to, um, you know, uh, uh, even like caffeine or something like that. How many of you guys know if you drink a whole pot of coffee, you're going to have this, this response, right? Or versus one cup that you've always done. There's a reason why there are boundaries and there are recommendations. And that's because the body assimilates um, at a certain rate. And when we increase the energy, um, I, I don't like this word, but it's, it fits, bombardment. <laughs> when we increase the energy bombardment on these bodies, right, um, you're going to have a response. So it's better to start lower, work your way up, get an understanding and a feel for your own body, right? Rather than, because most people, I know a lot of people out there, maybe you know some, probably nobody on our call tonight, but you probably know somebody out there that thinks more is better, right? Let's yeah. crank it up. <laughs> I hear it all the time. And it's, I know it's most of you guys out there, but it's like, I can handle it. 
crank it up. And then they wonder <laughs> why I feel lethargic or I felt these aches and these pains and this stiffness. Well, you're, you're kind of going through some detox symptoms. And that's just because energy has a huge influence on all the trillions of cells in your body, not just a little bit. So, uh, so, you know, watch those recommendations and uh, allow yourselves to learn about you and the technology um, in a respectful way. Right. <laughs> all right. Let's see what else we got. Um, oh, this is a great question. Um, I'd like to learn more about the symbols. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so would we. No, it's like, okay, you know, I, I'm assuming you're talking about the symbols for each program, right? There's these cool symbols. Um, yeah. So what do they mean and where do they come from? And um, so I don't have a list, <laughs> um, but there's some pretty cool symbols, right? You, uh, I'm going to bring my phone online here just to, Let's just take a look here. Mm -hmm. um, and... The other thing to keep in mind about the symbols, guys, is that remember, you can always go to the Helia manual and you can always refer to the actual list of program groups and you will always have a very, you know, relatively considerably long description of the general program group. And then you can always scroll down and look at the actual programs and you will see a little description that tells you what the program the general purpose of it is and and the symbols are basically just kind of like a you know a, a, an illustration that gives you again a general idea of what the program is for so in this case we can see that it has to do with something related with the brain so in this case memory <laughs> exactly so you see the label memory and you see the symbol that's got some kind of a thing that looks like a brain in the middle of it and there's some other cool stuff around it like the circle and there's like these I don't know, maybe like um, little little splashes on the sides. You know, it's just some cool representation. Um, and so here's my, I, you know, I just showed off my secret, guys, by the way. I, this is the program I'm actually running right now. So if I seem <laughs> smarter, this is Healy helping me out. Not really. <laughs> it's not really Ken here. It's just like Healy. It's Healy Boost. Um, but no, seriously, I'm running uh, a lot of times when I'm running presentations, um, one of the things is to run the memory because it activates very specific portions of the brain, right? When I say activate, we're looking at optimizing uh, that section of you, whether in this case, memory, um, in this, mm -hmm. and even more clearly, the portions of the brain where memory lives, okay? So so yeah, each one of these has a really cool little symbol. Um, it's it's super top secret as to what they mean. No, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not. It's just, it's just a symbol. All right. Any guys who want to add anything while I've got this on screen? You good? All right. No. All right. So wonderful. Um, what else we got? Anything else? Let's see. I crank it up to 100% for prosperity. <laughs> yeah. All right. Would this be good for some way? All right. What else we got here? Um, I was going to, uh, on the symbols topic, I was actually going to show, just go back to the, the, the app manual that we were talking about before. Uh, th this is the Mag Healy app manual and you'll see here just like for the classic application there's a huge range here in the recommended intensity so if you weren't to look weren't looking at this you might not know but okay cell harmony 70 to 100 percent but you go down to head harmony five percent to 15 percent for recommended intensity there so th this particular program group has the biggest range i would say because if you go to some of the other ones like water application the it default is 100 percent there's you know you want to uh, have as much power going to that to uh, inform the water with those quantum analyzed frequencies and then same thing with you know atmosphere big range but they're all the same so anywhere you can set it fairly low or or higher maybe if it's sitting right next to you on your desk or something like that maybe you have it a little bit lower but if you're in a sitting at a table you know there's people on all sides and you want to have it maybe a little bit higher um, intensity which is fine and then you go down to McMakin and again these, these well, I guess is a big range too but 20 to 
hundred percent. And for these ones, you're actually putting the Mac Healy on, on you. Most of the programs you put it um, on your stomach, but there's other ones, you know, if it's like a joint issue or something like that, you would actually just hold it on that particular area or on your back or, or that kind of thing. So. Yeah, remember there is um, your your brain and your autonomic nervous system is electrical, right? It's 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 trillions of neurons through your entire body, and and these neurons um, they're they're connected. Well, they're actually not even touching; they're they're in close proximity uh, through a synaptic connection. So this the center is a, what we call a synaptic connection, and it's a chemical transfer that gives information from one neuron in electrical force changes into chemistry, shoots across that cool canal right there called a uh, synapse into the other neuron and then so on down the line. All of this happens at the speed of light, right? I mean, you've got, you've got trillions of bits of information moving through your body all the time. And so when we send a magnetic signal into that equation, right? So, um, Movement of energy, uh, whether it be through a wire or through a nervous system, um, it creates a magnetic field. And so this magnetic field that the Healy with the coil or the mag Healy with its transmitters, it's interfacing with this magnetic field that we are um, transmitting as well. And so this is a, a dance. It's an amazing dance. And it influences your entire nervous system. So, you know, it's you need to pay attention. Um, and here's what you would need to pay attention to is one of the things is that's possible um, when you've got this magnetic fields closer to your head um, or closer to the spinal column or, or what we call the brachial plexus right back here um, or, or mastoid bone right up in here. The, when you run these systems next to uh, a transmission wire, AKA spinal column, there could be agitation. There could be interface that causes you to feel something that's odd, um, even in, in a emotional influence. So if you're running a program, you know, and all of a sudden you're a little bit, you're a little bit snippy, <laughs> right? You might want to turn the intensity down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So this is again why there's recommendations. And, and Jake showed you some wide bandwidths of intensities. Okay. Um, and it's better to start low. And if you say, oh, I worked through that one fine. Then they go up a little bit. All right. Yeah. Well, another benefit of starting low and maybe keeping it low, if if you can, you get the battery life. You know, you're gonna get a longer battery life out of it as well. If you're running at something at thirty percent versus you know eighty percent, hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah. Um, Okay, so here's a question about a particular condition that we can't really talk about, right? I can't no, really talk about no. patients, but um, one of the cool things is that the Heal Advisor, right? This Heal Advisor app we see right here behind me, uh, the Wavy Line app. That's a great app. Um, it's got a huge database, and you can put a keyword in there, and yep. it's going to come up with very specific recommendations, right? And this is all based on the the corporate database, mm. uh, tons of findings tons of analysis um, and great advice. So that's where we can go. All right. Yeah. Um, but when it comes and, to, oh, go ahead. No, you go ahead, Ken, sorry. Um, so the next part of the question uh, that's, that Marnie's asking here is, do you run the, the bands at 100% or just the coil? Well, you saw a little sneak peek. I had my screen up on there and mm -hmm. I show, it was showing intensity 100%. Okay, I did not used to be there. Okay, remember, that we need to understand this system very well. Um, I've been with Healy for five years now, all right? And um, I've been using the system and uh, really looking uh, through the lens of, of experimentation and analysis to find out what works for me, what, um, what irritates me, <laughs> what benefits me, and then, and then using those parameters. So, um, our body is a huge adaptive engine and it will eventually acclimate. And uh, so now in every given moment, we're just a little bit different and Healy interfaces with that difference each time. Uh, so it may be that how you said it one time versus the next is not the same. Mm -hmm. So am I always a hundred percent? No. 
I let my body tell me. I feel it. I'm I lower it down. I raise it up. Whatever I whatever I need. But yeah. listening to the body. Henry, you you've onboarded a lot of people over the last few months. Do you have any tips or recommendations? I'm sure this is a common question when you first start. What intensity should I run it at? Uh, yeah, I'm sure so, you, you get that quite a yeah. bit. To me, in my personal experience, like when I come to using when it comes to the, the actual morning, first recommendation I always tell people, put them on. As soon as you put the wristbands on, which they need to be considerably tight, they don't need to be super tight because then it's going to be uncomfortable. But in case you're using the wristbands, what you want to do always, you put them on and then you move your wrists like this. You kind of like move them, shake them a little bit. And what that's going to do is that it's going to help you ensure that there is not a contact issue right from the beginning of the program, because that's going to give you peace of mind so that you can know, all right, for sure, it's working. I have no contact issue because I moved my wrist. I'm doing drastic movements with my hands and nothing bad's happening. The conductivity is still, it's, it's consistent. And then at that point, you're more than welcome to close the app. Now, Keep in mind that this will always be different from person to person. So you do need to adjust this based on your personal needs. I personally don't really recommend going uh, too high after you see that, that, that flow of energy going without any issues. That's personally my recommendation. When it comes to the coil, I usually recommend anywhere between 30 and 70%, depending on your own preference. Um, sometimes I have calls with members who may be sensitive to electromagnetic fields. Some, some, some people are sensitive to Bluetooth. Some people are sensitive to Wi-Fi. Depending on your level of sensitivity, you may even feel the helicoil. And at that point, you're more than welcome to adjust the intensity based on how much you feel it. But for the most part, in my experience, a lot of people cannot really feel a direct uh, like feeling when it comes to the coil. So I personally like to set my coil in 70% when I'm using it. Uh, but again, those are recommendations. So just to keep it summarized, as soon as you start running a program, put all your wrists on, shake your wrists nice and well, make sure that everything's working fine. At that point, you're welcome to close the app and then coil anywhere between 30 and 70%, depending on your preference. Yeah, great tips. Uh, thanks, Henry. And I want, I want to share, yeah. I think I shared this last year on Tech Tip Tuesday, but it's interesting, can you mention it, that it, it can change over time and from day to day, because I, you know, I've been with Helia for almost four years now, four years in December, and I, you know, have my had my Healy set to high current, the high current setting, and I, in general, most programs I was running in the seventy to ninety percent intensity range. You know, occasionally at a hundred, um, and a lot of times it would take that to get that message to go away, you know, a frequency is generated, but no currents flowing, that kind of thing. And then last November, I went on a two week vacation in overseas and I didn't, I had my Healy with me, but I think I used it like once, like it was very, it wasn't part of my routine. It just kind of, you know, I'm so used to using this during work and that kind of thing. And when I came back, it's like my body had reset itself. I was super sensitive to microcurrent again and still, this is almost almost a year ago now, and it's it's still I'm running most of these programs now at fifteen to forty percent, and sometimes it's too much. Like like right now, I'm running a program at fifteen percent, and I had to turn it down one because I could feel too much um, sensation there. So it, and it's interesting. Like you could run one program uh, today and need to put it at fifty percent, and then you run it a couple of days later, and that's too much. You needed to bring it back down some. So it's there's not like a, a default where, okay, I run this program at this intensity and that's that, you know, like. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah. I'm going to share my screen again, because I want to show you guys a couple of things that I think are significant uh, in regards to settings and messaging and referring to what Henry was yeah. saying there. Um, I really want to try to give you guys a clarity here that are, that are on the call. And then we're going to address um, the other component um, around, um, analysis. Okay. I really want you guys to understand because I hear this a lot. Um, I'm, I'm doing an analysis and running those programs. And then I reanalyze it, reanalyze myself and I'm doing it day after, after day after day. So we're going to now, uh, we're going to address that in a minute, but let me show you something, um, here real quick, uh, let's start the progress. 
All right. So um, and I, I don't know what. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Sorry. I was going to say, I didn't see the screen. <laughs> yeah, here it is. Okay. okay. All right. So, um, so here's my program still running this guy. Um, I got it down 65% right now in the intensity. Um, you could see every 10 seconds, folks, you, the, the, the frequency changes. All right. And it changes based on the requirements, um, or I should say the resources within that program. So the purpose of this is memory. And there's a resource pool of many, many, many frequencies that it can use for me. Now, if I, if, if myself, Jake and Henry all hit the start button on this program exactly the same time, and we sat there side by side with the apps, you'd see different frequencies, right? Even though it's the same program, you'd see various frequencies being assigned to us. Why? Well, because we're different people, <laughs> right? We're different people. And, and Healy is looking at a, um, it's running analysis through your body and looking at the resonance of your body and what you need in this moment in time to um, optimize the program's purpose, AKA memory here. So if anything goes wrong, Henry mentioned a message that comes across the screen. If anything goes wrong, you see, I've got the wristbands on. He was talking about, you know, moving your hands around to make sure that that mobility, when you're moving these around, that you don't lose signal. So if I disconnect one of the leads from the wristband, right? Boom. Look at that. There's the, the lack of current flow through my body. That means that I lost signal somehow. I should say I lost continuity. That's a better uh, understanding. I lost continuity. So Healy can no longer guarantee that that frequency is getting through me in electron flow. Okay. In electron flow through microcurrent. I connect it back up, boom. And it's going to come back to life, right? Now I can get similar readings. If I was to lower the the intensity, see at the bottom of the screen, I'm lowering the intensity down 50%, 45, 40. I'm dropping the intensity down. And there are certain frequencies that need more intensity to get through your body. Now I'm down at 5%. Look at that. There's not enough power from the helium system to get through my body. So in other words, the, my, the, my body's resistance, and this is not a bad thing, folks, but my body's resistance is higher than the the Healy's ability to run current through me, microcurrent through me. So I got to up the ante a little bit, right? I have to increase my intensity up to where it starts to flow again. So lower frequencies are going to require more power. The lower the frequency, the closer to density. Density means material matter of your body. Typically under about 400 hertz um, is, more, is closer to density. You may have to increase the intensity to get that through your body. So you won't know this until you start to monitor this function and take a look at things. And if you just maybe randomly set the current flow at a certain settings that, that's low and the program is running along and it goes to some of those lower frequencies uh, and the app is saying, you know, it's it's not flowing or you've got, you've got the app shut off and you don't know that it's doing that. You know, it's better to get to know you and your system and the interface between the two of you um, and then, and that's why I like to keep the app open. I did a lot of studies folks <laughs> with this app in the beginning. <laughs> so it's like, I know exactly all the things that I know how my body responds to these different frequencies. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys this little tidbit. Um, and as, as Henry was referring to that, uh, message across the screen and that waveform you're seeing, that means there is current flowing in my body. Okay. Anything you guys want to add to this? No, no, that's great. Okay, mm -mm. all right. No. So now let's let's address the other question, um, which had to do with analysis every day. So I, I have a question for the audience. Um, if I was to let's say you 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 came to me and and I'm your nutrition coach, and I said, okay, um, what's your goals? You give me some lists of goals, and I understand chemistry, I understand nutrition, I understand macronutrients. Uh, and you tell me your activity levels. And I say, okay, here's what we're going to do. I set you a plan. I set you a dietary plan. And this is on Monday. And you take off and you come back to me on Tuesday. And say, okay, what's the next dietary plan? And every day you want me to tell you a different dietary plan. Okay. I, you haven't given your body enough time for my first plan to take hold and make a difference in your biology yet. So whenever we're changing some aspect of ourselves, right? In other words, running this microcurrent, 
or running a certain program, we haven't allowed enough time for this density, material matter, to change. So um, in terms of analysis, I don't recommend doing this every day. Why? Yes, you're a different version of you every day, but when we do an analysis every day and we get a list of programs to run for us and we haven't given our body enough time to acclimate, your body is shifting to the tune of 800,000 cells per second. Okay, that's a lot, but you have a, over a hundred trillion cells within this body. So it's like, hmm, very small fraction of change in one day. So it's better to run the programs um, for a length of time, um, look for changes, do some analysis within yourself. How am I feeling? What's going on? Give yourself a few weeks, right? Um, I always work with people in month long blocks, 30 day blocks. Why? Well, because it, you can really see a big shift in the body in 30 days, you know? So that's my recommendation. Um, you guys want to add anything? No, I mean, well, the, you know, she mentioned, can you also just use the, the Heal Advisor? I'm, I'm assuming Heal Advisor search to get program recommendations for a specific topics. And yeah, I mean, you can, like I mentioned, you can do your residence analysis and stick with those programs for, you know, a couple of weeks, or you can use, you could use the Heal Advisor search and then have it create that IMF calendar for you. That it, it, it will space those programs out up to three programs per day over an extended period of time as well. And, and you'll see if you do that, it's not just giving you three programs and saying you're done after today. It's, <laughs> it's doing it for a much longer period of time. And this is why the it's only thing, out. The other thing I wanted to add is that let's remember folks that the Gila Bicer Analyze to app, the main purpose is really to help you transform into your best self, right? You need to have a clear intention whenever you use every single one of the modules on the Gila Advisor Analyze 2 app. That will allow you to have that laser focus intention so that you can actually make reality whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. If we just start doing different analysis and we lose the focus of whatever it is that we're trying to accomplish, we probably won't even know at that point what we're doing. So it is very, very important that you're very, very strict with your intention, that you're very clear with your intention. And as Ken said, you usually want to kind of like stick to one protocol for a while, have a very conscious effort of, of whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish and kind of stick with that and until you start seeing changes and then you can reevaluate. But if you just start doing different things every day, you will reach a point where you won't even know what you're running the the databases anymore yeah, yeah. i i recommend so again part of uh what as, a, as an engineer um my my extended learning is in epigenetics and neuroscience and so the majority of what i do today has to do with um with in, with training and coaching and and encouraging and i always encourage uh my clients or my students to keep a journal right keep a journal of your daily activities and no different than let's say any of you guys are wanting to do some kind of a physical competition and you're working with a coach or a trainer, especially when it comes to stage performance, um, bodybuilding or, you know, some of these, um, these physique competitions, um, you, you're going to have to keep a dietary log. <laughs> Everything that goes in your mouth is logged and recorded so that when it comes time to shift you by two or three percent body fat right that that fine-tuning tweaking requires very very strict data so um, when it gets up to the high level performance uh, in athletes especially when we get to the olympic level um, moving the needle on an olympian uh, by one or two percent that takes a lot that takes a lot and so we need to record all this content so understanding yourself better um, really gives you more more control over your outcome because as Henry said, when well, you're just doing things all over the place, you'll never know what works or doesn't work. Yeah, uh, hasn't been enough time to to for the evidence to accumulate. Yeah. All right. So yes, um, I I suggest uh, several weeks. I suggest thirty day increments when it comes to doing an analysis. 
So first of all, if you do an analysis on all Healy programs, what's it net you? It nets you five pages of content. Yes. And there's up to 12 programs per page. So then when you drill down each page, right, then it nets you five very specific programs on each page. So at most, you're going to see 25 programs. Okay. All right. So if the recommendation is two to three microcurrent programs a day, <laughs> how many are you going to be able to run in a week? Okay. So, yeah. and th then you run that protocol more than once and let your body give you the messages. If you don't see any change, don't stop, right? Keep going. So give yourself time. All right. Awesome questions though, you guys. I love it. Um, it, it, it really is about um, being a little bit more responsible for um, for our actions and then also taking on um, some kind of study material, right? We, we are an experiment. Um, I'll bet you that if you're going to go out and plant a garden, you're not just going to go to the shelves uh, at, the, at the store and buy just a box of, of seeds and go throw them in the dirt, right? How do you know even what seed is what plant? <laughs> so you can do some research. You're going to figure out, well, I, I want to, I want to plant some carrots. Well, you're probably not going to go buy apple seeds, right? <laughs> so, so you're going to, you're going to be diligent about your, your technique. <laughs> yeah. You, you're going to plant those carrot seeds and then you're going to use your Mag Healy with the plant, the plant program and then give it the plant water also. <laughs> Infuse frequencies into the water. You have the best carrots you've ever had in your life. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you. Yeah. All right. What else do we got? Next question. Henry already answered it in the chat, but let's just discuss it real quick. Though the question was: Is the the Healy watch available for purchase, and also the ear clip? So the the watch. No, I mean in none of the markets around the world, the watch um, is is no longer well. In, in all the markets, it's no longer available for purchase but this is one of those things back to the the resonance database that we were talking about earlier you even if you can't buy the watch anymore you you could still see the Healy watch programs come back in a analysis so if you do all Healy programs you might see the Healy watch programs or you can still just do you can still just do an analysis just on the watch program databases and vibrate those programs even if you don't have the watch never have the watch that kind of thing. So those are still available in there. And then regarding the ear clips, yeah, those are only available in the European Union. So if you go to the Europe, the Healy's EU shop, um, you'll see that those are available. You probably you may have seen them in some of the Healy videos, some of the videos that are more global. You might see some people using those. Um, but yeah, there's there's an additional uh, conditions and things, the mental health conditions that um, Healy has approval for for the support of treatment in the European Union that aren't available in some of the other region. And it's a, it's a regulatory thing that they do have the approval there. So that's why you see them in the, the shop there as well. But you will notice that the, the programs that may be in Europe where it shows, you know, an ear clip being used for in for the other markets, you'll see it, like Ken mentioned earlier, the mastoid bone. So very close to, <laughs> Sort of the the earlobe there, but um, without the clips, this is the the most ideal place to to run some of those programs. Exactly, hundred percent, guys. So remember what we're trying to do. We're trying to apply the information. The microcurrent is information. Frequency is information. We're trying to apply it to the applicable area in which it's trying to shift or change or optimize. So when it when it comes to some of these acute programs, like you saw me on the using the memory program, that's on the learning page. On the learning page, there are some acute or very specific programs for uh, the brain, and you're going to see the app is going to recommend that you place sticky pads in certain places uh, for the optimization, right, of the app of the uh, microcurrent application. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, so take a look at the app. It's going to instruct you and give you guidance. And uh, as Jake said, that uh, you know the ear clips are right there on the on the earlobes. Now, what a lot of people, I'm not sure you guys even know that 
um, our vagus nerve system um, has receptors in the entire earlobe. There's a, a receptor mm -hmm. area. Um, the vagus nerve system has receptors in the ear for like all kinds of things in your body, everywhere, all kinds of things. There's stuff in there. So again, that was why that ear clip, but also the mastoid bone right back here, we're speaking to each side of the brain stem, right at the brain stem, guys. So the brain stem is a section of, of the brain um, where our reticular activating system is housed in 400 billion bits of information per second. Our, our bra said wow. right there in, in that cool little region. So, I mean, those sticky pads are giving some serious content to a big bundle of, <laughs> of bandwidth. So um, very effective, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, and, and it's uh, the app makes suggestions. Um, so if you are overstimulated by what it's suggesting in terms of those acute programs, in other words, you're placing them on the mastoid and you're getting some sort of over overstimulation, you can place them on the wrist and go through the body in that way. Um, be the experiment. Don't, I mean, I never recommend people sitting in a state of misery or discomfort, right? <laughs> if it's if it's too much for you, even when you have the intensity way way down, okay. Um, if the program is something that's necessary for you, then let's move the electrodes. Let's let's move from the mastoid down to the brachial plexus. Brachial plexus is essentially an area just above your um, uh, your scapula, right? The the your wings, the bones back there. So it's essentially around. Uh, where the cervical and thoracic spine meet right there on both sides. And you separate those st those sticky pads by about six inches on each side of the spine. Try that. Try that, right? Um, you're still speaking to that central nervous system, but, you know, maybe a little less intensely. Uh, if it's still too much for you, you can go back down to the wrists, right? It's, it, yeah, you can. Um you're the governor. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, you guys. Great questions. I love it. Yeah. Coming to the end of our hour. I think we are we have we covered everything? I think we're caught up right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's see. Awesome. Let's see what comes in here to finish the call. Oops. Come on, lightning round, you guys. What do you got? Yep. <laughs> Um, I mean, maybe you've heard some questions from your friends. I get questions all the time. Uh, and like I was saying earlier, lately, what it's been is like, what is this energy cycle page or program? It's like, uh -huh. <laughs> so we, we addressed that though. So it did show up here. Obviously you guys are getting it too. Um, yeah, that was one of the, the big announcements on frequencies and friends earlier this month. And, you know, we launched the obsidian a few months ago now, but, and it's, the only edition that has an energy cycle. Uh, and of course, the exclusive all black design, black cables, black wristbands, black coil uh, that goes along with it too. But uh, one of the cool things that was just added that it was announced that Soul Cycle, Natural Cycle, Personal Growth Database, um, Animal Module, Well Being, all the program groups, modules databases are going to be included with the Obsidian. Um, well, everyone that's purchased one gets it too, not just the people that started buying it this month, but then also every program group <laughs> module and database that's added in the future will also be included as well. So it's, that's awesome that, you know, you're buying this and that we launched something new in January and it's going to be added um, as well. The only exception to it is business suite, which isn't, considered a module, a database, or a program group. It's a kind of a separate, uh, more targeted section there. But yeah, it's gonna, that adds a ton of value to it, not just now, but in the, the years to come also. And I, I love that. That's such a super huge bonus, by the way. All right, um, lightning round. So um, we can't really talk about conditions, by the way, again, um, directly of, about a condition of, of something on, but um, if if you try using the Heal Advisor search, um, there is 
just, you know, see what comes up there. Now, also, let's take a look at the names of the program. Um, there happens to be one, and I'll give you a clue. There happens to be one uh, for the Mag Healy called Sound of Silence. Think about what that might address, right? Um, I'm just saying if there's something within sounds that are, uh, you know, not comfortable, um, there is a program called Sound of Silence. So um, take a look at that. Um, if you have a Mag Healy, you can take a look at it. I believe uh, Kai actually did a, a podcast on the Sound of Silence a while back. Um, it was a great podcast. So yeah, if you're if you haven't checked out the Healing World official page on YouTube, that's the one you definitely want to follow as well because there's such great content being added um, to that one too. Yeah, and that's where the those recordings are put. Um, these podcasts and these other uh, really cool uh, little tidbits and little sessions of training are available there. Um, so definitely go there and check it out. Uh, another YouTube resource. Yeah. I think we started a trend, didn't we? I mean, the U.S. has changed a few things. <laughs> yeah, which is great. And, you know, on uh, Marnie's question here, I can mention where we can't talk about specific conditions and that kind of thing. But if you're looking for just a general list of what the programs do or use for, you know, back to the Healy app manual, that's such a great resource. And, you know, not all of us have read through it because it's, uh, 49 pages long. So, uh, you know, it might take a little bit of time to get through, but some of them are more detailed than others. So like early on, okay, some of them are more generic activation of the bioenergetic field, balanced nerves, harmonization of bioenergetic field to promote calmness. And then, but other program groups, you get a lot more information out of them. Like the one I was looking at here, um, deep cycle. So, uh, what exactly is this? Breath of life, okay? Look at the description here. There are energetic issues associated with lungs and their surrounding organs, including the breast, along with feelings related to weakness and occasional sad feelings. And then you'll see there's an affirmation and intention that goes along with it. But some of these are, they're really detailed if you read through them. It's not just, you know, bioenergetic harmonization, that kind of thing. And the the descriptions for some of the program groups too are also um, really cool. So some, we get a lot of questions on digital nutrition. Well, what exactly is that? And it says they, those programs contain combinations of several resonant frequencies for certain substances optimized according to the six balance parameters, which are determined from measured values in the, the oh, sorry, that's the Healy Watch um, digital nutrition programs. But there's, of course, a separate digital nutrition um, app as well along the same same lines there. So, And then even going down to programs like Power of Three, there's a whole um, protocol essentially around Power of Three as well, which is really cool. And there's very detailed information. So there's even some studies included in the app also so you have you know the details there the digital ayurveda uh bioenergetic support what exactly this means you know um talking about cosmic growth there are some really cool descriptions so if you're you know maybe if you haven't read through all of this definitely take some time maybe read a few pages each day so this is this is always if you want to know what a program does i always tell people go here first you know and chances are there's a at least a decent description or it'll help you out as far as understanding what that program does or the program group in general is, is what it was designed for. I love it. Right. It's great resources. You guys, uh, super great resources. If, if you haven't gone through that stuff, definitely go through that stuff. And the other resource I always point everybody to is the Healy Academy, right? Going in there and taking a look at the content that's there. Super mm -hmm. useful. Um, and, and do me a favor, folks, everybody that's here tonight, Go in and this app right here off my shoulders, okay? The Heal Advisor. If you haven't been there yet, go there, log in, um, go to the Heal Advisor search module. It's Everybody's got it. So go to the Heal Advisor search and you'll see the um, keyword box in there. Uh, you can put a word in there. I'll put a word in there and see what shows up. It's going to show groups. 
going to show named groups and click on one of those groups. The top one is your most part, highest priority. Click on the group. It's going to break down a number of programs associated with the keyword you put in the box. Okay. So I know I've seen some keywords in our chat here tonight. Put some of those words in the box. See what happens. Use that resource. It's very valuable. All right, guys. Well, that's, I think, where we're going to close, huh? Um, we're at yeah. the end of our hour. Um, thank you, gentlemen, for being here. Thank you, audience, for being here. Without you, there's no us. So please invite people to this call. Um, let's do what we can to help each other out uh, and keep this uh, this topic or this Tech Tip Tuesday alive. How about that? Yeah, it's good, good to be back on Tuesday. We, we missed you all. <laughs> We did miss you guys. Thanks, Henry. Thanks, Jake. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Super you. happy to be here. Have a All wonderful right. night, everybody. Hey, by the Thank way, if you. you found that the chat was useful, um, down in your chat box, there's three little dots down there or up at the top somewhere in there. There's tap on those. It'll give you the opportunity to save the chat at the end of our call. Um, if you're on your computer or laptop, a message will show up on your screen to save your chat. And so you'll have all the content that was put in there um, for your advantage. How about that? All right, so click on the dots. Here we go. Um, see you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks, everyone.